Welcome to a new series of videos that will cover Eaton's voltage regulator products and features. Throughout this series, we will cover different products such as conventional regulators, pad mounted voltage regulators, high reliability regulators, and regulator controls to highlight their functionality and application. Today, we will be focusing on the industry leading CL7 control. A critical component of properly regulating voltage is a smart control, which acts as the brains of the apparatus. The controller provides local management of voltage regulation, a lineman-friendly interface to review operating conditions and provide local control, communication and remote management back to a central operating system, and modern cybersecurity measures. Eaton has incorporated all of these features into the CL7 control and more. The CL7 maintains a similar look and feel to other Eaton Power Systems controls and utilizes many of the same function codes as previous iterations of the CL line of regulator controls. LEDs illuminate to show system, control, and communication status. With configurable logic, these LEDs can be signaled to turn on for a variety of user-defined reasons. The 10 key input and LCD display are utilized for operator input and changes. Additionally, a laptop with ProView NXG can be plugged in locally to interface with the control. Finally, standard local controls are available to inhibit remote operation and then tap the regulator as needed. The CL7 control was designed from the ground up with modularity and upgradability in mind. The control utilizes extruded aluminum housings and printed circuit boards to integrate multiple communication and accessory options. To name a few, serial and ethernet communications with many connector options like ST, RJ45, and RS232. Accessory options include 13 and a half volt DC power supply for comms, battery backup, digital contact IO, and analog inputs. Purchasing a base control with no options can provide you a lower upfront cost, but not limit your future capabilities. Future upgrades are simple and require minimal tools such as a screwdriver to install the modules and take minutes with no outage required. The CL7 control can be retrofitted to any installation of voltage regulator apparatus, including Siemens, GE, Howard, Reinhausen RMV2 LTCs, Toshiba, and others. In fact, Eaton has tested and has solutions to integrate the control into nearly every tap changer made worldwide. With the 2018 publication of the IEEE C57.15 standard, an optional 19-pin universal interface was introduced to allow for the ease of utilizing different manufacturers' controls and regulators together. The CL7 control meets this optional standard utilizing a full control replacement assembly, or CRA, that has a 19-pin connection included. Additionally, Eaton has another CRA option that utilizes a cable grip instead of the 19-pin connection at the control box to integrate with the apparatus. Finally, a panel replacement assembly, or PRA, can be utilized which is the CL7 panel, brackets to mount, and a unique to manufacturer's harness to connect with the existing control box. CL7 is available as either a single phase or a multi-phase control. The multi-phase option is achieved by adding the multi-phase module to the standard single phase control, which unlocks the ability to control more than one regulator. The multi-phase control is then able to obtain metering information from the entire bank of regulators, which allows for three distinct types of control, traditional independent, ganged operation, maximum deviation. Traditional independent 
This allows each regulator to operate as they would with single phase controls. Ganged operation. This controls the regulator bank similar to how an LTC transformer would maintain the same tap position for all phases. Maximum deviation. The best of both worlds. This mode operates similar to a ganged operation, but allows each regulator to deviate from the others by user-controlled preference. Enabling max deviation provides some single phase voltage correction while in ganged operation. Additionally, multi-phase control provides the following benefits. One control to operate multiple regulators. A single node for communications, which simplifies network complexity and reduces communication drops between regulators SCADA. Increased network communication reliability with the control power provided from any of the operating regulators on the bank. Reduced installation cost by eliminating multiple runs of cables or communication devices. Ability to more effectively manage Delta connected systems and three phase metering values for voltage, current, power factor, and harmonics. Here we can see a typical multi-phase control installation. The regulators are placed on an H platform across two poles with the multi-phase control mounted at operator level. Regulators can be connected to the control with a maximum cable length of 120 feet. While the CL7 control is impressive with features that can be utilized with any manufacturer's apparatus, the real power of the control is best unlocked when paired with Eaton's voltage regulator apparatus. With the inception of the 2018 IEEE C57.15 standard, Eaton has moved to including a source side measurement as our standard offering. Having this true source side voltage measurement enables the following features. Safe to bypass, physical bushing measurement, and enhanced tap tracking. Safe to bypass is a feature that enables the user to additionally verify the regulator is in neutral by comparing the measured voltage between the source and load bushings. This can be used in lieu of a physical voltage measurement at the bushings when not accessible. When paired in conjunction with the three traditional methods of neutral verification, this can help to ensure a safe bypass procedure. Physical bushing measurement is a feature that eliminates the uncertainty and false reporting of the source and load voltage measurements. Enhanced tap tracking removes the typical requirement for the regulator to pass through neutral to reconfirm tap location. When a regulator doesn't pass through neutral for an extended period of time, mistaps can cause a significant variance in voltage control. With the source side bushing measurement included and knowledge of the coil design, we can confidently determine the tap position at all times. The ripple effects of global material and labor shortages can limit the supply of critical equipment, including voltage regulators. With these shortages, utilities are pivoting direction to try to refurbish equipment and extend the life of existing assets. The CL7 control can help with these efforts, utilizing three unique features. Duty cycle monitor, or DCM, preventative maintenance tapping, or PMT, and motor trouble diagnostics. DCM calculates the life of each arcing contact on the tap changer. The control uses advanced algorithms, proprietary design information, and measured power conditions during tap changes to estimate contact erosion. PMT performs user scheduled tapping operations to prevent contact coking created by staying on the same tap. PMT can be used in conjunction with the motor trouble diagnostics to alert the user to potential tap changer issues. All of these functions can be managed through SCADA and provide alerts to the operating system to ensure that utilities get the most life from the regulator.
Distributed generation in electric vehicles are creating new challenges for utilities to manage voltage control in a more dynamic and complex system configuration. Historically, reverse power flow has been an option for customers utilizing feeder switching, which was a less consistent event. With today's modern grid distributed energy resources, or DERs such as solar, wind, or gas generators, bi-directional power flow is becoming the norm. The CL7 control has many modes and options to manage these situations. One of the challenges that exists with DERs is managing voltage as they switch between providing power to the grid and being offline. The unique to CL7 bias cogeneration mode utilizes the quick drive tap changers quarter second tapping ability to test the power flow direction during times of low detection confidence and utilizes those metering values to decide on regulation direction. The reverse cogeneration mode is utilized when the generator is on the source side of the regulator. Combining both of these modes by adding reverse cogen as an alternative configuration can help to properly regulate on a circuit with a high density of cogenerators on both the load and source side of the apparatus. Let's examine some of the challenges of solar power. Solar activity can be very intrusive to a distribution system with variations in voltage, especially as solar penetration increases. The voltage drops as the clouds cover the field and then rapidly increases as the clouds pass by. This causes undue wear on the contacts and shortens the life of the regulator. Eaton has developed dynamic bandwidth a new mode exclusive to the CL7 to manage these events. Dynamic bandwidth utilizes real-time operation data to determine when voltage changes are driven by cloud activity. When this happens, the allowable voltage range is open for a short period of time and then returned to standard settings once the cloud has passed. The maximum or minimum limits of dynamic bandwidth can be set to ensure there are no voltage violations. Opening the bandwidth for a short period of time can reduce tapping operations in excess of 75%, extending the life of the voltage regulator. Well, we've covered a lot of information today around CL7 controls and their applications. If you'd like to know more about voltage regulators, please visit eaton.com or click the link below. Additionally, be on the lookout for future videos where we expand on control applications and discuss voltage regulator apparatus.